when you look at the amount of phone calls, you, you know, I'm doing between 90 and 110 phone calls a day. Wow. And I used to do before COVID, I was doing 50 calls a day. You know, you're so busy. You know, over the year, I, I check in with you and you typically carry 30 active listings. You typically have 20 to 30 things in escrow at all time, but yet you're so calm and you, you tend to spend a lot of time with clients and give them the, the attention that they desire. How do you stay so calm and, and give these people so much attention when you're so busy? And it's funny, I was telling James that, that uh, my sister taught me five years ago, and again, I know that's, not, that's, that's recent to me. Uh, she just said not to panic. I don't know why that's stuck in my head because when you look at the amount of phone calls, you, you know, I'm doing between 90 and 110 phone calls a day. Wow. And I used to do before COVID, I was doing 50 calls a day. You know, just you have less contact with people. And if, if I saw that uh, list for who I had to call the next day before, I probably would have, I don't want to say panic, not, not, I would not show it, but inside I'm thinking, how do you do it? And you just, you just do it. Just go ahead and do it. And if you miss someone, you got to put that to sacrifice some business. One thing that really stood out to me that you, you told me is if I text you instead of texting me back, you actually spend the time to pick up the phone and call me. And Correct. you do that with most of your clients? Yeah, especially with, with sellers. They're the ones who are always asking, oh, are you too busy for me? You know, buyers right now, it's a, it's a seller's market. And remember, it could change tomorrow. So be, be nice to your buyers, you know? So, but uh, sellers especially, you got to call them back, respond quickly. And if you can't call them back, at least respond to the text quickly to show them that you're not too busy and that you do have their attention.